a brand new exclusive event with all your favorite South Park characters. There's Cartman. I had explosive diarrhea all night. Stan. Dude, school is going to be so awesome today. Butters. Oh, hamburgers. And oh my god, they killed Kenny. I like big boobs. <laughs> How does this even make any sense? It makes perfect sense. I think the problem is you. South Park, new exclusive event, streaming October 27th exclusively on Paramount Plus. South Park did it again, and this time they had their sights set on Disney. Hashtag dang it Bob Iger the weatherman and Kathleen Star Destroyer Kennedy. Hi, and welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Clifton3D. Now, after having watched the episode, I personally do not think they went far enough. That being said, the creators of South Park were fair and even took shots at fans like me through the lens of Cartman. Guess what? I can take a joke and laugh my head off. Can those Disney shills do the same? But today's video is not about the South Park episode. It is about a tweet from our favorite power girl, Gina Carano. Gina Carano said in a tweet after the show aired and lit a fire under KK, absolutely demolishing her. The tweet reads, this is the part where KK demands any YouTubers get censored off of YouTube for sharing and laughing at this hilarious episode. She'll have YouTube disable the thumbs down option because of the ratio she'll receive. Then she'll have her publicist ghouls make sure Variety and Hollywood Reporter run hit pieces about the South Park creators and their families smearing their names through every useful idiot she has under her thumb who would sell their soul to work for Lucasfilm. She'll activate her online mob to repeat the South Park creators are racist, bigot, transphobes, and demand the South Park creators publicly apologize by only using words she approves of. And finally, she'll demand they should jump themselves to a re-education course of 45 people in the LGBTQ community Zoom call to sit there and listen of how badly they got their feelings hurt all over a little boop of a South Park episode. But maybe, just maybe, the gig is up. That is one hell of a response putting the truth out there. Take a look, everyone. This is how Disney and the Force's female KK try to deal with people who aren't 100% on board with their political and feminist agenda. But it gets better. Around the Galaxy tweeted, in case you were wondering, at Gina Carano has lost her goddamned mind. And trust me, folks, I would love to show you the original tweet. But since I am blocked by the sag for a supporter, I cannot. So I had to pull it up in someone else's. In this case, Echo Base Network's video to, pull, to let you see that this actually happened. However, Gina had something to say to that in yet another goal-smashing tweet. Do you always call a woman crazy just because she has more first-hand experience than you and says something you don't like or understand? A bit misogynistic, don't you think? Tusk, tusk. <laughs> I like that. Curious if your overlords pay you or do y'all just go ahead and shove your whole head straight up their ass for free? I'm guessing for free. Might want to come out for some fresh air. For some added context, not just for you, but for the people reading, one of the things your overlords asked me to do was to unfollow certain accounts because they said bad things about Kathleen Kennedy. That was a huge red flag for me. If I were the head of one of the most powerful entertainment companies in the world, I would know that haters come with the territory and that maybe the haters are expressing their thoughts because they actually care. And caring is a good thing because as long as they care, well, hey, 
we still have something to work with. Maybe we can win their hearts back eventually, and maybe they do have some good things to add to the conversation, which they do and did. And at the very least, they are still buying the product. Look at Mando Season 1. Boom! The healing had begun. If you are a proper good leader, you learn how to embrace and communicate, not to dictate and silence, and demand your actors and directors unfollow and shame more than half of your fan base and the people who have stuck with the franchise for decades. Side note, don't say the force is female and then allow only the men to express their political views online. In fact, just drop the ridiculous phrase completely. One of the problems your overlords are having now is that they've made a lot of people completely stop caring about one of the most beloved franchises in history, all by bullying, pushing aggressive agendas, and trying to silence the people criticizing them. And I agree, there are so many people out there who no longer even care for Star Wars. They don't even want to watch the original trilogy or the prequel trilogy that George Lucas made because of what Disney, Lucasfilm, and KK did. How are they able to tell, tell stories they don't understand when the ones they identify with are the Empire? They are literally trying to squash the little guys, the rebellion. No wonder the storytelling is struggling. They fired and dehumanized people like me who did absolutely nothing wrong, all to virtue signal to people like you, the yes man. The yes men, unfortunately for you and them, do not drive culture. Maybe they were banking on the kids picking up the slack, but one of the best things about this franchise is passing it from generation to generation to share. The competition is too high to throw out something as valuable as that. Why would one generation pass it on when you've disrespected and thrown them away. Our overlord, your overlords, sorry, your overlords tried to hide behind the two opposing fan bases fighting each other instead of taking responsibility. So they encouraged the hate, all while virtual signaling they are standing up for minorities, but instead using them as a shield and weapon. Funny enough, just how our government works. Gina's on fire! They think people will forget, and yes, maybe they will, but for this moment they have heard the people's voice, and it shook them. They're choosing to stick with their weak leadership who couldn't handle YouTubers saying mean things online, and when all it would have taken is a true leader to step in, take the reins, take some responsibility, stop discriminating, apologize about the things that they have done wrong, step completely out of politics, be truly inclusive, and they'd be back in business. Until then, they're stuck with you, the Yes Men, and they're plummeting stuck. Hmm. I'm not saying I'm right on all fronts, but I am open-hearted and refused to discriminate based off of powerful people telling me how to think and act. And if there was something I needed to apologize for, I would have in a heartbeat. But I didn't say or do anything wrong. People come up to me daily to shake my hand and thank me for taking a stand, even people who think different. One thing is true. Good leadership makes for a better world leading to healthier and happier people and better opportunity. Look around, we are watching the devastating effects of what bad leadership can do worldwide. Damn! Folks, that is one hell of a statement right there from Gina Carano. 
I wholeheartedly agree with everything she said, and it stands true. I understand there are actual people who love some of the stuff that they have made. A friend of mine really enjoyed Ahsoka, and while we don't agree on that, I think we both agree that if Lucasfilm made something half as good as the original trilogy, and I enjoyed it, he would too. But we can't forget what KK and Lucasfilm did to Gina. That was underhanded, it was done publicly, and she only found out through social media. Hashtag Duck Fizney. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you liked this video, smack that like button, consider subscribing, and if you haven't already, hit the bell for notifications. Thank you, and signing off. Take care.